This is a documentary about Tourette's syndrome and how to live with it. Tourette's affects one in a hundred children, mostly boys. <laughs> Nobody really knows why people get Tourette's. I don't think mum and dad find it hard when I'm hitting them. I'm shouting and swearing out in public and things. Mum! Mum! Oh, I'm so shitted. I just cried. I was sad. I'd lost part of my son. There is no cure for Tourette's. But there is treatment. For six months, we followed three boys through behavioural therapy at London's Great Ormond Street Hospital. Not knock over. This is just brilliant. <laughs> what you're about to hear is their story in their own words. You just watch and see. Started with your. What did you start with? I was. I took. <coughs> yeah. Because you get new ones all the time, don't you? And different ones. Yeah. Yeah. And normally gets me like. <coughs> really hurts and then. It's like getting a pack of cards and then keep on getting new ones every time. I have a packet. Callum is nine years old. He's, he's a great little boy. He's got a smashing personality, very affectionate, um, a real mummy's boy, I've got to admit. And sometimes when I do my leg trick, then I'm going right on the down and I normally hold something. Yeah, if I'm crossing the road or going around the street, it's really, really hard. Yeah. Yeah. So this is my solar system poster. What my nan buyed me. My impression of an alien with Tourette's could be. Hello, my name's Connor, and I look normal, but I happen to have Tourette's syndrome, which is a condition where I can't help um, shout, swear, or do movements. OK, do you want Mom, anything or want nothing? I feel fucking dehydrated. OK, darling, we'll get you a drink soon. Fucking better do. Do you like this or not, Luke? No. Come in. Dad, you're a bloody faggot. Luke, why are you in a fucking paddy? Right. Yep, I told the world. Ha. Ah. I've given my Tourette's a name. I call my Tourette's Johnny because it's Johnny who shouts and swears and me who doesn't shout and swear. <laughs> yeah, fuck off. <coughs> so far. Yeah, he makes me do things that I can't help and I don't want to do and... But at the end of the day, I've got, sort of got to fight him and deal with him. What the fuck? 
you very much. Hi, you're welcome. Did you find everything you were looking for today? Yes, thank you. Look at the My ship. son has Tourette's syndrome, That's so, no so sorry if he offends you at any you point. Are you going to try and stab us in a minute? I'm not. I well, hope yeah, not, yeah, Connor. I do hope not. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> do we get 15 <laughs> quid off because I'm a freak? <laughs> Connor, loving, caring, funny, sensitive, drives you mad. Pushes you to the limit, and the next minute, he makes you proud to be a, a parent. Yeah. And then he'll push you again somewhere else. <laughs> you definitely got it there. Don't worry, I'll sort the faggots out. When I'm out on the street with my Tourette's, I'd be quite scared because if it's someone in a hoodie, for instance, I look quite grim and not very nice, and I shout, pull your pants up to them and things like that. Where's the shitty coffee shop we're going to? Managing quite well, Connor, well, around town today. <laughs> VIPs, VIPs. They put sperm in my coffee. <laughs> Get the fuck off. <laughs> they put sperm in my coffee. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You go in cafes or even some occasion a bar and it's normally quite busy and then it goes quite quiet and then you get the looks of disgust or the smiles and then slowly one by one they disappear and you end up sat on your own. What I want to be when I grow up is a doctor and I want to help other people. And I would love in my life to just save a life. <laughs> Sometimes it takes a bit of courage. <laughs> just like I said, you have to see the action. You want to see what's on the screen. <laughs> Friends, family, Charlie. <laughs> the ticks I have is a complex tick here. Right. <laughs> Grimace and breathe in and make this noise. I'm very anxious, and my ticks have got bad. So I'm going to come back and do some origami. <laughs> I feel like they're thinking, that's annoying. Why doesn't he stop? <laughs> and I get embarrassed about that because I want to, but I can't. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I'm going to make a jumping frog. My biggest fear is that the Tourette's escalates into swearing. We live in fear of this, this happening every day because that's the way Tourette's is, isn't it? From one, one day to the next, from one minute to the next, you don't know if things could change for him. We're sitting here now and we can't hear anything, but we know that you guys that's... could leave t tonight and bang. It there'd could, there'd be a, a new tick, and it could be anything. It that's the con that's the the frightener of yeah, the condition. Definitely, it could change just like that. So, have you got any hospital appointments or anything coming up soon? Yes. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to Great Ormond Street this Wednesday. What I want to happen at Great Ormond Street <coughs> is when I leave the sessions, I want to be able to cope through the rest of the time I have Tourette's syndrome. Would you like a lolly? Yes, please. OK. All right. What do you say to Maria? Thanks. Good luck with your appointment. It just started off as um, I had it 
when I was quite young and it, I didn't have it diagnosed. I've been diagnosed quite recently. And I used to just go like that and strum my fingers. And I think by the age of about nine, we were really doing motor movements. He'd do funny canting with his fingers and do all this sort of thing. And by that point, we really realised things were not quite right. And then Marvin took me to the doctors to ask what's going on. And um, they didn't really know what about Tourette's is, but my nan came with us and she said, is there a possibility that it could be Tourette's? <laughs> He then referred me to Great Ormond Street. Not my legs. <laughs> legs. legs. He does come out with some extremely strange expressions um, that, that he doesn't actually understand himself. It's, it's weird. And I've learnt a lot. <laughs> Connor! <laughs> Connor! Stop it! When he comes to visit us, we usually get a little bit of a bombardment at the beginning. And it'll be, he'll fling his arms around me, say hello, give me a kiss, and say, Nanny's a porn star. <laughs> I've adjusted by finding a lot of it amusing. And if we're upset at all, we come home and do that privately. At Great Ormond Street, they have a therapy programme for kids like me. Great Ormond Street, we have a specialist national tick clinic. We also do some group therapies, the idea of which is improving acceptance and education around ticks and, and encouraging the children to get to know each other and accept their condition. I hope that I can make some friends with Tourette's. Make some friends. Definitely make some friends. This guy's okay though. What's that? It's a porn detector. You'd feel angry, and where would you feel that? Oh, Uranus! When I use a bad word, I'd get out a lot of anger doing it, which would then I'd then feel really relaxed after I did it, which but I don't like shouting and swearing. Ah! I don't like shouting and swearing at people. Your voice. Fuck you! So <laughs> that would be aggressive. This Charlie, is can shit. you sit down? She's Charlie. being gay. Okay. When he first started swearing, <gasps> you do a big intake of breath and think, oh my gosh, now what am I going to do? And at that point, I don't think I was even able to support him at those first couple of days. In through your nose. Fuck you all! Oh, and oh, out yeah. through your mouth. Shush me that pedo behind the camera! In through your nose. I just... The emotions took over and I just literally cried for two days. And whoever spoke to me, here they come. Um, yeah, I just cried. I was sad. I'd lost part of my son. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Came for a Tourette's meeting, not aerobics! See you later. Be good. Bye, boys. See you, Connor. Have a good day. Come on, my man. See you. See you. And this place of Lexley used to decode the messages. Yeah, no, they're spies. For and fuck's yeah. sake, we're not Adolf Hitler, you prick. I mean, me and Connor used to spend... Desperate well, desperate most Sundays desperate together, because he used to come and meet all the time. I say, the only problem we have is if Connor does grab hold of the driver. That's a joy. Or he hits you. Yeah, I'll put but that most of the time, we normally try and right, occupy the children as we're going along. Do you want to play I Spy? No. I Spy, my life, I'm beginning with... W-L. Wanker liquor. <laughs> Window, Window liquor! liquor. <laughs> I used to wonder why me, why did 
did it have to be me? When I first got to Rats, the noise was a, like a donkey clap. <laughs> My mum thought it was a bad habit I got into, and she um, kept saying, please, can you stop that at the dinner table? At that time, I didn't know it was Tourette's syndrome. I didn't know. He never told me that it hurt him not to do the, the tics. I would say to him, look, we're at the dinner table now. You don't make noises. And to think now that he would hold those in and he would be in pain. I wanted to as well, but I just couldn't at that point. And I think she was a little upset. The main emotion for me, I think, would be anger. I'm, I'm just angry because he has it, because at the end of the day, Tourette's is a disability and no one wants the, their child to be disabled. Ready? Yeah. You gay person. That's you, Luke. Tell you what, move over there. Bang! I just shot myself. This is bloody shit. Get me out of here. Shut what a bang! You can't help but do movements. It's almost like sort of, you have an urge to do something. It's like a volcano, almost. If the volcano doesn't explode, the world will blow up. And if I don't do my tics, I get angry and cross and stressed. See German at the top lick of... it, lick yes. it, you Enjoy window that. licker! It's, um, you know, quite hard to deal with, but um, I guess you've just got to go through with it. Lick it, lick it, boy, oh, lick oh, it. Oh, you can't really control him with a remote controller because um, he was just born with it and you can't help the way he was born. Carry my fucking jumper, boy. No, you use your manners, please. You carry that. Right. Emily gets also bored, he gets a bit more physical. <laughs> Today's society, the way people are, the way things are, mm. People aren't forgiving. If he was to blurt something and then try and explain why he blurted it, they wouldn't listen. And if he said it to the wrong kids at the wrong time, he's going to end up in a mess. That's what worries me, is him getting hurt physically. And that will also hurt him mentally. And I don't want that to happen. Connor is very sensitive. I don't know if he'll totally understand it if he gets a... I'm positive I put it, he's a real good kicker, which is, which is quite likely he's going to get. <laughs> I have a one-to-one -one session with Chara <laughs> with my vocal tip, how I can learn different techniques about how to calm it down a bit. <laughs> You know why we're going today, don't you? Yes, I fucking do, right? Do you have any idea how Tara's going to do it? What do you think to it? Because it, they're trying to help you suppress your tics. I think it's good. There will be times, Connor, I guess, in life when you want to be able to not tick so you can hear what someone's saying, if it's Oh, you know what, Mum? Or... Just shut the fuck up. <laughs> oh, Connor. Come on through and have a seat. Hello, if you and your mum would like to sit there, I'm going to sit beside you. So there are two different therapies. The approach we're using with Connor is called habit reversal training. What we're doing is getting him to be very aware of his tics and then getting him to use competing responses so his tics can't come out. Come on, Hello. Would you want to therapy, right? Okay. Connor, what I really want you to do is get the feeling that you want to knock that over, okay? and yet not knock it over, okay? So before you knocked it over, did you get that wave feeling going through your arm and your mm -hmm. head? Okay. Yeah. We're using a different approach with Callum. 
because Callum's younger and he has a variety of different tics, we're using an approach called exposure and response prevention. It's mainly the vocal tic that's bothering you. Is that right? Yeah. OK. Do you know when that's about to come, Callum? Can you feel it coming? Yeah, it feels like stomach's rising. OK. <laughs> You know that stomach rising feeling? Can we call that a tick signal? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And how annoying has that tick been in the last week? One million. One million, okay. <laughs> One million. That's a lot of zeros. So the exposure part is that he's exposing himself or getting used to the tick signal. So he has that feeling and he sits with it. And the response prevention is that he's preventing the response and the response is a tick. OK, so can you press start and I'll start my timer. Callum, oh. can you press start for me? Right, here we go. We're on two seconds. We're looking good, we're looking good. With Marco, we attempted some habit reversal training. So let's just do this for three minutes, OK? you to breathe more in through your nose and out through your mouth but interestingly being involved with his breathing for the vocal tick actually activated a lot of his ticks and I think probably that had an interaction with anxiety <gasps> 80 seconds 81 seconds 82 seconds I think you, you're one of my top tick suppressors for the first session you know I, I, I think with his confidence he's quite a confident boy but this has knocked him down a little bit this vocal tick he's gone from like a confidence level and it's just plummeted at the moment and he said to me how he doesn't want to go out how he doesn't want to be seen in public or you know it, it's awful it's just absolutely awful say hello hello <laughs> hello <laughs> this is how the people stare at me that's how <laughs> it gets annoying. And sometimes I just want to go over there and tell them, wow, I've got Tourette's. I can't help it. Can you stop staring at me? <whistles> animals are easier to be with instead of people because the animals <laughs> that just ignore you because they really can't talk or say anything. <laughs> nearly at three minutes. This is just brilliant. So if you can sit there and look at that and just monitor your wave, what I'd like you to do is tell me between zero and four how strong it is. Four is when you actually hit it and knock it off. Zero is if you were sitting over there and you couldn't get any feeling of wanting to do it. How much is that wave feeling now? Four. Four. Okay, so you really want to do it, but you're not doing it. Mm -hmm. You're sitting with it, Connor. Okay. To stop myself thinking, it's usually very hard. I have to sort of um, bl blow my cheek out, hold my breath, tense all my muscles and crunch my eyes up and just sort of think. Sort of have to be angry and that stops it. What I'd like you to do is put your both of your hands under your legs and what we're going to do is wait until that feeling, that four, reduces. Let's see if it does. Okay. Oh, it's probably your mum. Please come in. Connor. Yeah. Connor's doing a brilliant job. Yay. He has done so well. Good. I am so pleased, I can't tell you. Good. And um and when I asked Connor, um that's the tick work we've been doing. So is that yeah. signal getting stronger and stronger, Marco? Yeah, it's not going away at all. Not really. And the next piece of work with Marco will be to help him manage his worries, which in turn then will help him manage his tics. This is so fantastic. And you know what? You're getting used to that feeling in your tummy. You know yeah. that your tummy is not going to explode. <laughs> Just forgot to press it there, but I Yay! remember it was... What is it well, actually, I think it was probably three minutes and 54 seconds. Well, it's four minutes and fifteen. Four minutes um, and one second. Okay, we'll give you that. That's 241 seconds. That is so amazing. Yeah, I was quite surprised that he'd done sort of four minutes without a vocal tick, so we've got a lot of homework to do. I think Tara's given me a bit of a magic wand. There's a little bit of hope that we can suppress those ticks. 
What you gonna ask me this time, Chuckles? Jimmy Savile's got me. Jimmy Savile's got my leg. He's got my leg. He's got my leg. He's got my leg. Oh shit! Jimmy Savile's got my leg. He come He's a fog cat. He come he come he coming back up, mate. Peter Fog cat. He come in. Get your ass out that door. Right, it's Connor's bedtime. It's all quiet. He's had calm down time. We'll just see what happens, see whether he starts ticking or not. It starts ticking, I have to go and lie with him, and that'll probably be half an hour to an hour. Dad, wake up! Dad, there's a robber! Wake up! Wake up, Dad! Dad! Wake up, Dad! If I had a magic wand, I would take away all the illnesses and put them in an unopenable vault and put it in another one just to make sure they don't get out. Every time someone catches something, it automatically goes in there. Yep. Decided to get Marco a new bed because... Um, he had a wooden frame bed before, and he used to buy it on the wood. This is, this is what's left of, of the headboard, and you can see there are bite marks, both front and back, where he's literally chomped into it. He didn't want to tick, he didn't want to make the noises, and, and he got really scared. And initially, he, you know, he, particularly at night times, thing, when things were bad for him, just didn't want to be on his own. What the fuck was that? Okay. Great, you all. Okay. So, the group stuff going really far. Good. Going really good. <laughs> good. The groups have been really handy because I've always wanted to meet someone with Tourette's, and I finally got to meet someone with Tourette's. The group sessions are going fantastic. I made a lot of friends with Tourette's syndrome, and I think we're all happy. And we're all learning well. I think Marco. I think Marco had his hand up first. I hate odd numbers except the number five. Okay. I always check if the door is um, locked or not. I always close the windows. Marco does have OCD. It's not um, it's not a bad OCD, but nevertheless, it's it's still OCD. And unfortunately, it's something that comes along with the Tourette's syndrome. <laughs> Tourette's never seems to travel alone, unfortunately. So what I have to do with the kettle is, if it's like lying around just from a cup of tea made. I get very, it just feels wrong for it to be there rather than its original place. So I, I always put it back on there and it makes me feel better. Um, I always get anxious that something bad's going to happen or someone bad can come through, especially at night is when I worry the most. I'm just going to go shut the front door now. With me, I got OCD, but I'm not sure if that came along with the Tourette's along. But when I started making noises, I did start to gather worries. When I'm worried, I get stressed out. And of course, when I get stressed out, I tick a lot. Hello. 
coming. Oh, thank you. Thanks right. a lot. Oh, thank you very much. That's lovely. What, what was it that you were worrying about? Being rubbed. Okay. Um, and sometimes you check the back door? Is and that the front door. And the front door as well. And would that be every day you do that? Yeah. What I thought would be really helpful was that if you did some work on your worries, that that would help your tics a bit more yeah. and just help you to be yeah. more relaxed and, and less worried generally. Um, and so that would be a really good thing for you. But the nice thing is that actually treating worries is even easier than treating ticks. Mm, brilliant. Close the window. What, where did you close the window, Marco? I have worries about the window. And I think one of the things to do will be to know when you're starting to get worried about that and then help yourself not to close the window. And I guarantee you that those worries will get smaller and smaller. And then after you've been practicing it for a while, you'll come in and you'll see the window open and you'll say, yeah, there's the window open. I don't mind. Okay. How you fight a tick is you have to suppress it and try and not do it. <coughs> no, I've done that. Are you ready? Off we go. Chickens nipples. Go. Come on. Four minutes, one second, I need to be. <clears throat> it helps to take your mind somewhere and think about something else. Oh, hell yeah! Catch. Keep trying, keep plugging away and see how we get on. But you do have to duck. <laughs> it's really hard. Six minutes. Keep going, you're doing really well. One minute. Half minutes. Oh. Uh. Tonight I have done my best ever and I've done 10 minutes, 9 seconds, and 7.7 .7 decimal seconds. <laughs> Ta da! session with Connor um, I really hope he's been able to build on the last session I hope he's been able to practice using his competing response which would you rather use Connor the ball the ball okay. and what I'd like to do is build his confidence that he can do it not just here in this therapy room but that he's going to be able to do it in day-to-day -day life how much do you want to hit that off the table four plus okay and are you feeling the tick signal mm -hmm. where are you feeling it okay. all the way down all the way down into your arms the future worries me a lot because I could, different things could happen. I could get attacked for swearing at someone tomorrow and it, it does worry me. So you can actually feel it reducing? Just went back up to two. Did it? Okay. Back on one. You are doing a brilliant job here. I don't feel I need to do it anymore. You don't feel the need to do it anymore? OK. That is great. Five minutes. <laughs> you don't feel the need to do it at all? No. You have just managed to get rid of a whole tick on her. What do you think of that? That was good. That was really good. Brilliant. Is there one day where we could be kind of being able to get rid of ticks and have no ticks? 
I don't know. Dare we go there? Don't. Dare we? Dare you don't. go there? Don't. <laughs> you never know. One day we might. <laughs> we might. We might dare to think that far. Hello, darling. You're all right. Hello. Have a good time. Take your shoes off. Hello, sweetie. Shut up. Mother, the bottom bitch. Sh shut up. Who's got my pawn ring? Yeah. I want some of that German. Where am I meant to put it, you bunch of put dicks? Put it on your lap, Connor. Put it up your asshole. On your lap. Can someone move this? I, I've never put it on. Not once. I've never put it on because if I do put it on, then it doesn't help me. So the more than, because then if I do do it, it's a bit like when um, the boy who cried wolf, he lied about it, and then when he did do it, when it did happen, no one believed him. So if I put it on, then no one's going to believe me when I do do it properly. Well, they always I have them, love didn't they? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Connor, that's nice. Maybe we haven't told Nan yeah, what happened. Gonna get it. What? Tell Nan what's happened, Con. I'm sick of talking about <laughs> it! Constantly <laughs> shouting and swearing. I suspect there's a lot more that's not funny than is funny, actually. Yeah. yeah. Shut oh, up. my God! <laughs> that, that one was funny! <laughs> that one was more funny! <laughs> Granda, go and get a... Where's the napkin? Look, you can see oh, your no. wrinkles better. <laughs> what do you say, please? <laughs> Sorry, wanker. I think, I think I've said no, and now try and mean one, please. <laughs> sorry, wanker. <laughs> I do mean it. I'm sorry, and he's a wanker. The pressure on him to do the ticks, to swear out loud. I mean, it's something he can't resist. It's actually painful to him. Oh, don't blame Carl. Oh, oh that must have well, hurt. Again. All right. All right, stop. Stop. You stop. Come on, but you do your suppression work. Put I'm it meant to eat. Knees. Well, just for five minutes, just to calm you down. Just try very hard. Once you realise that he's got to complete or achieve that tick, your feeling really goes out to him. And I don't actually ever feel offended by anything that he does. You can't. He's got a problem that he finds hard to deal with, so... I'm certainly not going to make it worse for him. I've got to deal with it too. We're gonna. Hi, mate. All right. Sofa, throwing the juice and the pepperoni uh, yeah. and the crab You stick know you and, enjoyed it. And hitting you <laughs> and the sausage. All right, mate. Don't worry about it. Don't suppose it was deliberate, was it? <laughs> No, it wasn't. You sure? <laughs> These ticks are going a bit mad at the minute. Thanks, Connor. Set up. We've changed the object. We need to... Connor. What? We dick? need to make the object a bit more enticing. I'm short of putting a glass there for him to smash. The object we have found... Brussels! Think about how you feel. Think about... I feel like I'm not fucking brush. So it's a 10, yes? Rating's a 10. Can you tell me whether you feel the wave as soon as it's there, then? Wave! Can you feel it now? Calm. Right. Start your work. I, I understand how it's hard for Mum and Dad, cos... I've walked into her room after I've been ticking and she's been crying. And my dad's been crying and I've never seen my dad cry in my life. And it's, um, it's sort of, it sort of breaks you and sort of thinks that, it, it sort of makes me think that it's unfair that they have to deal with it. But they deal with it so well and it's, it's just, it's weird. It's, OK, well, you haven't thrown it, so if you can sit back down on the chair. OK. It's horrendous seeing him go through it, and it's horrendous seeing him so exhausted at the end of it. I hate it. I absolutely hate putting him through it. But it's supposed to be for good, so hopefully 
It gets us somewhere. <laughs> oh, come in. That's why it's why don't cuddle me, because you know I'll get worse. How does it make you feel ill? Makes you feel sick? Have you got your headache or what? Uh, headache? Bad stuff. It's just tough. It's tough. Mm. And to watch him go through it is. It's tough. But. It works by the end of it and we actually get somewhere. Where do we go from here? I don't know. They're very comfortable with each other, and I think it's fantastic. It's almost like the Tourette's and the Ticks don't exist for these kids at the moment. They are just getting on and having a good time bowling. Since my treatment at Great Ormond Street, I, their method, called the competing response, haven't, the way they want me to use it hasn't exactly worked for me. So I've adapted the method to suit me. So since then, it all's been going fabulous. When These days when I feel a tick coming, I overdo times tables, slowly or a mass some, because I love my maths. I think of some great times I've had with my beautiful family, and that really does help me suppress my ticks. the people in the Tourette's group as often but um, hopefully we'll stay um, in contact but um, we're also a bit sad that um, it's ended. Thanks. Let's remember which way you talk down. Oh, hey. I feel like a bit Worried. Let's believe in ourselves, eh? OK, then. So, why haven't we been to a library? What do you have to be in a library? Quiet. Yeah. And what have you found really difficult in doing? <laughs> being quiet. Yes. Look how many planet books there is. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Look at that. You pick, what's your favourite planet? Actually, actually loads. <laughs> Every single one is my favourite. Mercury. <laughs> How are you doing? How do you feel? <laughs> Good. <laughs> so, look how far we've come. <laughs> Tell them. Yeah. Look how far you've come. You're in a place where you know you have to be really quiet. All the time. You've done really, really well. 47 minutes you've done. Wow. That is a big wow, mister, isn't it? Wow, wow, wow. Before, you used to feel like Tourette's was controlling your life, didn't you? Yes. So, who do you think's in control of the threats now? Me. Yeah. Yeah. So How long now? Completely accepted it, haven't you? Yeah. I think it's going to be... 50-something. Nearly 51 minutes you've oh, done. Wow. Trying to get an hour, aren't we? Try and do an hour. <laughs> So. Only ten more minutes. Oh, actually, no. Only nine more minutes to go. Nine more minutes to go. Oh, nine more minutes to go. Do you want to know how long you've done? Yes, so I do. Right, this is a moment of truth. Thirty more seconds. Three, two. Damn it! Yay. 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 
One hour. Callum. One whole hour. <laughs> I really need to do a big one now. I know you do. So if we go outside, go on then. Yeah. Feel better? Yeah. <laughs>